One of our games? Yeah, anyway. Oh, actually, we have four games here, and we also have a nominated game in the classroom. So we we have uh, we're being five games in the in the case. I think um, well, as a result, you can you can see the fighting games is a big attraction to to the players. But we also have some puzzle games like Aris Fall and also Blade Fury is a platformer, and Unheard is a quite brand new way to tell a story. And you follow the different dialogues and then build up the whole picture of the story, find a murderer, find a killer. Yeah, so they're all cool games. Okay. I always thought it looks really, really interesting to me. Um, what's the story behind it? Uh, behind which? Iris Fall. Yeah. Oh, Iris Fall is um, it's a puzzle game, and the, the, the girl Iris fall into uh, look at, walk around into the theater and to find the tools, find uh, how this uh, how she, she was born. And what's behind uh, what's behind how the theater the theater what happened because there is a cat black cat in the, in the theater and she followed the cats into the theater so um, yes yeah, play around with the puzzle and the tools and everything about that. What do you think is more appealing, your fighting games or your puzzle games? What? <laughs> okay, it's very hard to um, hard to choose. I think um, so. Do, do you know one of your favorite one or something like that? Okay. Yes, it's Tell me a favorite one. My favorite one? My own? Okay, my personally, I, I would like to, to introduce the Iris Fall first. Yeah. The yeah, fighting, ga fighting games it's a quite a, a traditional game and a lot of fighting games in the market. But the Iris Fall is a puzzle game that I think it's, um, is quite brand new. And it's a very good story. But I'm sorry I cannot tell more about the story because you have to explore by yourself. <laughs> so, so, yeah, just play it. Okay. Did you guys come up with the concept and someone else did the art, or did you guys do the art too? Oh, we do all, all the works we do our, ourselves. Yes, we have different teams, and every team has its own artists and designers, and also a programmer. So yeah, uh, basically, um, okay. Basically, the uh, ideas come from the developers themselves, and they will find the friends in our studios and to make it a demo, and so and the people will play on play the demos and make it a possible game. And after that, it will become more uh, mature to to make it a game. Yeah.